Hi guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we are back again with the 2010 FIFA World Cup runs on World Class. This time we're doing it with the Czech Republic. Why? Because the Czech Republic beat the Netherlands uh, yesterday. And I was like, yes, we should beat the Czech Republic because I remember on this game, Czech Republic have Milan Baros, they have um, Rosicki. So we got some really good players in this squad. They're a four star team. So let's just check out who they got. Let's see what groups we get and see how far we can get with the Czech Republic. The Czech Republic have done really well in this Euros at the moment. Really, really well. They're getting quite far in the tournament. We're in a group, by the way, in Group G. France, Jordan, Czech Republic and Sweden. First match for the Czech Republic is against Sweden. This is going to be a very, very tough match because these two teams are both very well matched. They both got star players on their team. They got Ibra, I've got Barros and, you know, it's very well matched up two teams here. I just noticed down at the corner there, that fan down there, it's got the Czech helmet on. I thought Czech got... It must have been around that time, actually, that he suffered that head injury. Yeah, there it is. He's got the, the, the thing on. That's really clever by EA. Did the Czech Republic fans back then actually wear those things? I'm really curious to know. Did, did any anybody from the Czech Republic in here, if you happen to be in here, did you guys, like, you know, merchandise those things? I've been really, really impressed with the Czech Republic in the actual Euros, of course, knocking out the Netherlands yesterday. What a game that was. And, you know, the Czech Republic can't really been that bad. I mean, OK, they lost against England. They drew against Croatia. Um, they beat Scotland in convincing fashion as well. It'd be interesting to see how... Oh, hang on. I'm about... Oh, just, uh, just tipped the wide there. Barros. Gonna whip this in and no, yeah, again, I'm, I'm struggling to find the goal, but here we go, yes, finally, we, we score, we put ourselves 1 0 up, and it's this bloke, Nessid. Okay, so one of the other strikers on the team. It was very lucky that Rosicki actually got their header down and the goalkeeper didn't come out for it properly. He died the wrong way as well. I've been focusing a lot on European nations on this game and um, just doing Euro. European runs on this game, but we will get back to the African teams and the Asian teams after the Euros. I just feel it's probably smarter to do some of the European teams now, especially the ones that are doing well in the Euros, because obviously it might entice new people to come over and watch some of these runs. How far do I think that the Czech Republic will go on this one? I reckon um, probably around a 16 or a quarter final. I don't think I'm going to get much else out of them. Unless I get lucky. Through the legs. And yes, look at that. That was a great goal. And it's uh, Milan Baros with his first goal of the tournament. That was a really, really good strike. Because it literally went underneath. Like, well, sorry. Through the legs of the defenders there. When it came in here, I think Melbert got nutmegged. And then I just tapped it in. It was a bad shot, but it still went in anyway. Milan Baros. Can he skip past Melberg? He has. That's really bad defending by Melberg. Can we slot it in? And, oh, just off the post, can we? Yes, we still got it, and it still went in. Bad goalkeeper in Berg, the Swedish keeper, Isaksson. And it's 3-0 to the Czech Republic. Look at this for a goal here. Just hit the far post, came straight back to me, and I was able to slide and get it. I think it was a combination of me and the Swedish defender that tapped it in. But this is a fantastic start for us. 3-0 against Sweden. This will definitely put the form up. And if we have to play France in the next um, in the next round, in the next match, then I think we've probably got them. I reckon we could have them. A lot of people do actually ask me, um, speaking of the Netherlands, to do a Netherlands run on the 2014 World Cup. Not this one, the 2014 one. I guess in the 2014 World Cup, Netherlands were actually pretty decent. Um, I can't remember how far they get. I mean, this in this in this game they got to the final, so maybe it makes sense to do maybe both. this game, we're gonna have to shoot. Oh yes, that's a really good goal. That's a really good goal, just from distance, just slightly from distance. And Thomas Wazinski makes it four 0 to the Czech Republic. And wow, like this match has really surprised me. Really, really has. I mean, look at Sweden here. Just look how calamitous they're defending it. And the goalkeeping there as well. I mean, that's a shot that usually is saved, but I think Czech Republic are on red-hot form right now. 
Maybe I should change my prediction from quarterfinals to uh, final, maybe. I mean, I don't want to get too cocky before the um, before the other two group stage matches. But, wow. 4-0 against Sweden. We would take that any day of the week. Second match of the group stage is against France. This is one where I'd like to either draw or win. Obviously, I'd like to win. But I think, realistically, even though I just beat Sweden 4-0, I think a draw is better because then I can just hopefully beat Jordan by a good result and then just go into the round of 16. Ah, oh, Nelka's going through. Can we please, like, try and tackle him? No! Ooh, off the post. That was lucky. Very lucky. And again, France just by a ride on that one. No! Ooh, off the post again! Okay, Barros is through. Where's the French defence? Nowhere to be seen. We're just going to slot under the keeper. A very, very easy move. And it's 1-0 to the Czech Republic. Melan Barros scores. Very clinical in front of goal, of course. If we can beat France here, this will put France in a really, really bad position. Because we'll have six points. They'll have three. But Sweden would probably beat Jordan. And then France will have to beat Sweden to go through. And... Although Sweden played badly against me, there's nothing saying that Sweden couldn't beat France. That almost went in from that cross, by the way. Great pass to Placil. Placil shoots and the goalkeeper was in a kind of a... I don't know how to explain that. that was, he was in a weird spot. He was in the place where he shouldn't have been. He was too close to his near post and I fired it and it went into the back post. It just made it look way too easier than it needed to be. Look at this. He came in and he, he stepped... To his right, Lloris. He stepped to his right, and then the ball went to the left as he stepped to his right. Very weird. I, I don't know how to explain it, but obviously you saw it on the screen. And it's 2-0 against France. I think, uh, I'm going to call it now, maybe the Czech Republic could be a potential semi-finalist or finalist. I'm going to say it, because we're beating France right now, like 2-0, and it's comfortably 2-0 as well. They haven't done anything in this half. Apart from maybe just have like a couple of shots. Through ball. Oh yes. Nice. The right back kept us on side. Just shoot. Oh. See he didn't even like die for it. That's This is weird. Like this is strange behaviour for me. Like usually when I shoot from distance. Not like. This wasn't like a long distance shot. It was just like slightly just inside the box. Usually they go wide or the goalkeeper saves them. But Lloris just left it. Maybe because, like, Barros is, like, a like a star striker. He's got different types of shots in his locker. I don't know. Wow. We just beat France 3-0. A fantastic performance. Another one by the Czech Republic. And they are looking strong contenders. Dark horses for the tournament, maybe? I mean, they're four-star team. Um, four-star teams, like, well, when I did the run with Bosnia, I didn't even think that I would get like, to the final of Bosnia, and I did. So maybe Czech Republic could be another example of a good four-star team. Wow, okay, so Jordan somehow beat Sweden. Let's just go go to the table. So Jordan somehow beat Sweden, and they've got goals for... Sweden have considered four goals against Jordan? Like, wow, because they considered four goals against me, so that's a minus eight, like, goal difference. Wow, that's incredible. So... France have got it all to play for now because France have got to try and beat Sweden. Last match of the group stage against Jordan. Jordan will be definitely fighting for the second place now. Beating Sweden 4-0, that's just, that's just like blows my mind. I didn't think they'd actually do it. They were the weakest team in the group. Are Jordan going to do try and do a Hungary and mix this group up like Hungary did in the Euros, the actual Euros? So, never know. That's a hell of a pass. I didn't even intend it to be like that. And Barras is going to put it wide. I've actually really struggled here against Jordan. They've been really, really resilient in defence. They keep fouling me a couple of times, but I haven't really been able to make use of the free kicks. Jordan have played better than France. Oh my god, they're going through. They're, and then France and Sweden combined. They really have. They've played way better than those two combined. And they are lower rated than... Sweden and France. Just think about that for a second. <laughs> oh wow, Jordan. That was very close to going in. That's the her first like real opportunity and it almost went straight in. Now here comes Barros. 
Can we make light of the counter-attack? Yes, we can. It's 1-0 against Jordan. Unlucky to Jordan because, obviously, he almost scored and then I just went down the other end and scored myself. Oh, Nessid tried the through ball, but he just ended up getting the ball back anyway and going through. And yet, 2-0. It's game over for Jordan. Unfortunately, they put up a really good fight. They really did, but unfortunately, we're just a little bit too strong for them. A little bit of um, luck on my part, really, to get that ball back and just run for on goal and tap it in. We are through to the round 16, and great stuff in the Czech Republic in the group stages. Nine points out of three games. We will take that any day, and we've got full momentum going into the round of 16. It just depends on who we get. I haven't checked the other groups around me. We've got Saudi Arabia in the round of 16. Okay. Okay, I'm not underestimating them by any means because they could have me. They could if, you know, they got here for a reason. But, yeah. And then potentially in the quarterfinals we could either have Slovakia, which would be a great match, or Spain. So, yeah, it's probably going to more than likely be Spain. Can't underestimate Saudi Arabia. They are a three-star team. And, um, you know, they got here for a reason. So, uh, potentially could be quite a difficult one to navigate considering I only beat Jordan 2-0 and for most of the game in the Jordan game they were being super defensive so I expect Saudi Arabia to be like that in this one. Man Barros, I was hoping to skip past him. Oh, he's still got the ball anyway, okay. Well, that doesn't matter. I'm just going to tap it underneath. Yeah, that's easy. That's so easy. Nobody went anywhere near me and Saudi Arabia go 1-0 down thanks to Man Barros. Oh, that was a fantastic save. I didn't actually realise that that corner was going to go to anybody in particular. I thought it was going to go to the Saudi defence. But then suddenly this guy comes in. Great save. I'm just wondering, have we sort of like put a foot off the gas a little bit? In the group stages, we came out so strong. But now I'm thinking, like, in, even from the third group stage match, even into this game, that we've kind of taken our foot off the gas a little bit in terms of attacking. Or has the AI got stronger, perhaps? But like being Sweden and France by good score lines surely would carry over into rounds like this. Struggling to find that other goal that we need to finish off the tie. And Saudi Arabia are about to score, yeah, because of a defensive error. This is what I'm talking about. Like, al Qatani scores the goal, but... Like, it was a defensive error. I tried to clear it. It just bounced off of, like, someone's leg. And it went straight back to al Katani, who just scores. Yeah, look, see? They're just like, yeah, what's going on here? See what they've done here now. They've got the goal back. And they've gone a little bit more defensive. At the top, maybe? Oh, that's actually pretty tasty. Not going to lie. Barros. Yes! 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 Come on! Milan Barros with like the 90th minute goal over the top of all of the defence. I thought I was going to get caught up, but he controlled it very well and slotted it under the keeper. 2-1 against Saudi Arabia. Game over. Surely game over. Yes. We beat Saudi Arabia 2-1 in a game where we actually struggled to put the ball into the back of the net and actually make good plays. And defensively, we were, for the first time in this run, a little bit shaky. So I just noticed that we got Spain in the quarterfinals. It just said that Spain had a penalty shootout win against Slovakia, which is a shame because I really wanted to play Slovakia. But we have quarterfinals, uh, obviously, between Holland and Nigeria, Canada and Russia, Germany and France, and Spain versus the Czech Republic. Quarter final time against Spain. Is this going to be one team too many? For the Czech Republic. Like I said. They are slowing down. Like from that explosive start in the group stage. And then we got to Jordan. We only beat them 2-0. Which is fine. Because they had something to play for. And Saudi Arabia of course. Gave us a bit of a scare. Oh. out Back out to Rizitsky. He goes for the shot. Oh my god. Off the top of the bar. That could have been goal of the tournament if that went in. Really poor clearance by Spain. Came back to Rizitsky. Just does this looping shot. Off the top of the bar. No. Stop. Get out, Spain. Get out. I know you're trying. You really are trying. Just screw this run over for me. And they scored, even though there was a defender right in front of David Villa. There was a defender there. Like, this is not excuses. There were... There, there was a defender there. Right there, look. 
But he manages to get the shot under the keeper and it's 1-0 to Spain. Spain are playing really well here. Look at them. Look at this is really good play. And off the post. We got lucky there. That would have been game over because Spain are on red hot form at the moment. They are just all over us. We need to sort this out. Either after half time or before half time, we could get a chance here to maybe get a goal. No, 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 no. Oh, that is just poor clearance. That was such a poor clearance. A really good shot by Xavi. I didn't expect him to try it from sort of that far out. It was like on the edge of the box almost. But yeah, that was just poor clearance. Really poor. I think it was actually a pass by Torres. It might have been a pass by Torres. Yeah, I think it was. Just looking at the replay there on the edge. And we're 2-0 down against Spain. This is really, really bad. Now, how's that not foul when, like, he actually... Oh, I just did in there. Cross that back in. Header over the bar. You need to get that on target. That is a header that should have actually tested the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, he went miles over the bar. Trying to get someone to go through. Here we go. Yes, we got one back. Nice one. That was a really, really good run of play. Nessie scores. I was kind of hoping it would be Barros, but it's fine. Uh, anybody would do at this point. I mean, Barros actually made the assist. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes. I don't think Barros is getting in the right positions for me at the moment. Nessie did, which is great, but I think he's offside here. I think he is. Yeah, and we actually oh, just went over the bar anyway, but... Oh, uh, come on, Czech Republic, get, wake up, shoot, oh, I thought that went in, I really did, that was really good play to weave my way past all those red shirts, and we still missed the shot, I think it might, it, it could be game over now, we got one last opportunity to make this right, one last opportunity, Yes! 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 Come on! Barros, 90th minute, literally the last kick of the game, the last second of the game. And when I did that shot, I thought it was going to go wide because I took it quickly. And usually when you take a quick shot, it doesn't, it's not as accurate as like a well-placed shot that you would do. But look at that. Look at that. We pulled it back from the brink of elimination. We are in extra time. Let's see how this one goes. Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't even realise that that was going to go in. The Palacio with the shock goal there to bring Czech Republic 3 2. I am speechless. I'm kind of like, I'm not speechless, but like. Like, how on earth did that go in? It must have had such a good dip on it that it tricked Cassius. Look at this. It was just a, it was a poor shot in, in general, but it just found its way into the back of the net. That was actually... Oh, yes. That is what these runs are made of. Like, that's what we need. Last minute, basically. Spain had the ball on the edge of the box. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Like, the defence was just not there. And Spain literally just did what I did to them in normal time. They just broke the hopes of the Czech Republic. And it's 3-3. What a game this has been. But seriously, the defending there just needed to be better. I mean, he just smashed it. He just literally smashed it against my goalkeeper. Ooh, it's 50-50 it's basically from here. 50-50 plays. David Villa hits the post. Yes, great start to the penalty shootout. Who's our first man? It's got to be Barros. Yes, it is Barros. Okay. Barros kind of in the green, in the yellow. Like, oh, well, he scores anyway. 1-0 to the Czech Republic on penalties. We're in a good position here. Xavi now. Will Xavi miss or will he score? He's put, got it in the green. Uh, and, yeah. What? I went that way. I went that way. You saw that. Like, I actually dived early and it's... Uh, maybe that screwed me over. I dived too early. Maybe. But that's BS. But we scored the penalty of Rosicki, so hopefully when we get to the fifth pen, we'll just knock him out immediately. Ah, oh, the stuttering on the pens, man. They're just like, they've done it twice now, and it's just, just confusing me. Plasil to the left again. The goalkeeper refuses to dive to the left, so I think we just keep exploiting that, that left-hand side. Fernando Torres. Can he score? Hopefully not. He 
Penenka did, didn't you? Okay. Next penalty is Nessid. He's been pretty good so far. Green bar pen. I go this. What? Oh, the one way that... Well, the one time I decided to go to the right and they save it. Why did I change my habit? Why did I do that? Um, Fabregas scores. I think we've bottled this penalty shootout now. I think we have. Yeah, I think we're actually, like, done. I think, <laughs> I mean, Cadillac, we could score here. Control us by breaking. Got it in the yellow for some reason. And, yeah, we scored. It's fine. Okay, now it's down to Spain to try and score this one. Uh, okay, well, that was actually a fairly decent penalty for a defender. Pospech. Pospech with the penalty. He hasn't, well, I haven't really seen him much in this gameplay. And we score again. Nice. Okay, this penalty shot sure is going to be going deep into uh, the order, the pecking order. Captavia. What's he? Oh, he's, I think he's put that wide. Yes, I saved it. Nice. Okay, we need to score the next penalty now. And then we go through it. Yarolin. Can Yarolin be the hero that the Czech Republic need after a hard fought battle against Spain? Can he? Yes, he has. And we go to the semi final. We really fought hard in that one. Like, we got pegged back so many times. Like, at the first half, they dominated us. And we slowly crept back into the game. And then we scored in the last minute of normal time. And then they scored in the last minute of extra time to bring it to penalties. And, yeah, just great stuff all round from the Czechs. Holland in the next round of the World Cup. I just saw that they beat Nigeria 3-2. So Nigeria got incredibly unlucky. Some really good games in this World Cup. And um, we got a Russia-Germany semi-final and a Holland-Czech Republic semi-final on the other side. So you could either have a, well, you could have a Holland-Germany World Cup final, possibly, if Holland really want to smash me in this one. I hope not. I hope it's going to be a Czech Republic-Russia final. Semi-final time against Holland. Let's hope we can just get to the final. We are guaranteed fourth place, just like Chile the other day. So two runs where I basically can guarantee fourth place. Not bad at all. I expect Holland to come out here, like all guns blazing, basically. Holland are playing in this like sort of like calculated manner where they're just knocking the ball around very nicely. I can't get the ball off of them. And then they'll go forward and just try and test me for a little bit. Oh, that was a good save. The quick shot. Didn't really help us that well because I was wanting to just tap it under the keeper. I think I'm try. I, I think I'm slowly getting into the game a little bit more. Skips past the defender. Can we have a shot? And oh, I actually did go in. I thought it went wide, but uh, what? I I thought that went wide. Like that tricked me, and we got the goal that we need to go <laughs> go one nil up. Very 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 lucky. Look at this. I just shot and. Oh, yeah, I mean, the angle, which I was looking at, obviously, from the game's angle, made it look like it went wide. No, don't, don't look at this defending. Oh, thank you for actually putting in a toe and um, getting Cal off the ball then. Shot. Oh, I thought I scored. I really thought I tricked the goalkeeper like I did against Spain, but Stecklenburg was wise to it. Don't you dare. Look at that. That was just like the computer trying to get a scabby goal. Nessid, can he finish the game off? He's got the potential to do it. He has! He has! He's finished the game off and it's 2 0 against Holland. After all of that, you know, coming close with, with a goal that would have completely screwed us over from a cross, we managed to tap it underneath the keeper. Keeper should have done better there. And we're going to the final, guys. We beat Holland 2 0 and we're going to the final. How about that? We have Russia in the World Cup final, a Czech Republic Russia final. How about that? I didn't expect it either. I thought it was going to be definitely either a Czech Republic Germany final or possibly a Holland Germany final. That would have been really good. But we got these two teams in there, both rated, I would say, no, Russia are. A slightly higher rated than the Czech Republic, but it doesn't matter. We've beaten bigger teams and we could do it again here. Hopefully we can. I know how defensive Russia can be. Like, Russia can be ultra defensive on this game and really irritating to deal with. Look at this. Look, see? Like, those kind of crosses are just absolute BS. There's no way in real life, well, like 1% of the time, that a cross would actually go straight in. Look at that. See? I just had no time on the ball whatsoever. I get it. They're here as well. They're in the final as well. But please, just roll over for me. 
Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, Baros, Baros, yes! Yes, Russia messed up. I didn't mess up. Russia messed up, yes. The defender slide tackled a little bit too early, and that allowed Milan Baros, the, the hero at the moment, to go through and tap it in. Look at that, he slid too early, and I was able to slot it under the keeper. And we go 1-0 up before half-time. Important goal, very important. Through ball. Message, come on, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. We could score two here. Yes, we have. It's 2 0. Russia have broken down. They have broken down defensively in this first, well, the first half. They are mad. They are so mad right now. But the Czech Republic are one step closer to winning the World Cup. I mean, Nessie did well there to hold off, hold off the defender because I thought, well, Russia are really good defensively for the first 39 minutes and now they've just collapsed. He's getting a little bit too strong for Russia's defenders. But unlucky and we score again. Yeah, it's over. This final is over. Not the easiest final I've been in. I don't think I have. Well, actually, no, it might be because I've scored three goals in the final. Russia have blown it. Blown it big time to win a World Cup. Nessie got lucky there though. Just off the keeper and then I just shot again. It just went straight in. Look at Nessie just holding off this defender. Like he's absolutely nothing. Look, I just went, oh, that would have been great. Uh, just one of the best goals I've ever scored in a final. I held off like three defenders there. Just put it wide though. Be full time in a second. The Czech Republic have done the unthinkable. They have done the unthinkable from the group stage all the way through. We have been absolutely superb. Absolutely amazing. From the group stage, like I said, like beating Sweden 4-0, beating France 3-0. And then in the round of 16 and the quarterfinals, we dipped a little bit, but we still came back. Like Saudi Arabia had us on the ropes, 1-1. We came back with a 90th minute goal. Spain, 3-3, free, free. beat them in penalties. Like twice we had to come back in that game. And then we beat Holland. And then we beat Russia. Absolutely superb. This team is amazing. One of, one of the best teams I've used on this game. One of them, definitely. They have just been absolutely amazing. And yeah, I, I could not be more happy with this run. So anyway, if you did enjoy this World Cup run with the Czech Republic, then give it a like and subscribe. You have to give it a like for that that gameplay. It was a superb gameplay. Keep it loco as always. Thank you for all the support in the last few months. It's been absolutely superb. And I'll see you again for the next video. Enjoy the celebrations. Nobody now, Clive. <laughs>